Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a simple BGP pairing relationship between two VEOS switches. Um, first of all, on the first VEOS switch, I'm going to be setting it up with a BGP autonomous system of one. I configure the point to point IP address and I create a loopback IP address and a loopback interface with this IP address, I should say. And then on the second VOS instance, I'm going to set it up with autonomous system two, and I'm going to configure um, the point-to-point -point IP address over which we'll establish an eBGP session. And then I'm going to set up a loopback interface with this IP address as well. So let's get started. And then obviously at the end of this configuration, the goal is we want to be able to ping the loopback um, IP address from each of the VOS instances. So from VOS instance one, I need to be able to ping 10.1.2.1. And from VOS instance two, I need to be able to ping 10.1.1.1. So on VOS instance one, the first thing I'll do is I'll enable IP routing. And then I basically run shell LDP. I can see that I'm connected to VOS instance two with interface Ethernet three. So I go under the Ethernet 3 interface, I make it a routed port, and I configure an IP address of 172.17.251.5/30, and I create a loopback um, interface with an IP address of 10.1.1.1/24. And now I need to set up BGP. So I go router BGP one neighbor. 172.17.251.6. This is the IP address of VEOS 2's um, Ethernet 3 interface. And I say remote AS2. That's all I need to do on VEOS 1 for now. So I'm going to do a very similar set of configs on VEOS instance 2. So I enable IP routing. And then on interface ET3, I enable make it a routed port. And then I set an IP address of 172.17.251.6 slash 30. And then I create a loopback IP address of 10.1.2.1 slash 24. Now we set up BGP. So we go router BGP 2 and then neighbor 172.17.251.5 remote AS remote AS of one, all right? And then next, next thing we need to do is we need to verify that we have a BGP session up and running. So I do show IP BGP summary, which we have. So you should see BGP in an established state. And obviously we don't have any prefixes advertised from VEOS one. So you will not see any prefixes received in this output. And then you should see the same thing on VEOS 1 as well. So we have BGP established for 29 seconds, but we don't have any prefixes received. So now let's go ahead and advertise the loopbacks. So I say router BGP 1, and then I go network 10.1.1.0 slash 24. And then I can verify that this is being advertised locally by doing show IP BGP, which it is. And now when I verify on VEOS instance two, with show IP BGP summary, I can see that one prefix is being received. I can also run show IP BGP neighbor, and I specify this neighbor and I can say receive routes. So you can see I'm receiving 10.1.1.0 from VEOS one. So on VEOS instance two, I'm going to advertise its loopback as well. So we have router BGP two, network 10.1.2.0 slash 24. And then I run show IP BGP to verify it's being advertised. It's being advertised, which it is. And then on VEOS instance one, if I run do show IP BGP neighbor, receive routes. I could run receive routes or routes in this particular instance because we don't have any route maps. So they will give me exactly the same output. 
So I can see 10.1.2.0 as well. So now let's try and ping from the loopback IP address. Um, ping the loopback IP address of VEOS2, which is 10.1.2.1. We can see that we're able to ping across. And then if I go on VEOS instance 2 and I try to ping 10.1.1.1, we see the ping is successful as well. So that's the end of this video. I would like to thank you very much for listening and join me in the next video.